This is the Vive Hotel Waikiki, Honolulu. I am staying here myself and I am making a short video so that would-be travelers can see what this hotel is like. I'm going to make a very short video of this hotel. Let me take a vertical shot. I think this hotel is about 21 stories high. I am myself staying in the 19th floor and I'll show you, I can see the Waikiki beach right from my room. Uh, the beach is just two blocks from the hotel. I will show the street and go straight to the Waikiki beach. Okay. I am looking straight at the Ulu New Street which takes you to uh, Waikiki Beach. Let me try to zoom in. Can you see the beach? The, the coconut trees and everything. And you can even see the water from here. That's the beach. This, this street, Ulu New Street, is straight across uh, right from the hotel doorstep you take the street just two blocks of walk five minutes and you are in Waikiki Beach by the way this Vive Hotel Waikiki is situated on this Kuhio Street which is uh, oh, one of the main streets here uh, Kuhio Street is the address of the hotel Nice plants and flowers, decorative plants, right at the entrance of the hotel. This is the left side of the entrance and these are the other taller plants. And this is the right side of the entrance. More flowers, more plants are there. It's beautiful. It's very well maintained. I love it. All right, we just walked in through the main door of the hotel and this is the lobby. You are getting a distance view of the lobby and this is the reception desk, the front desk. It's very beautiful. It's one of the good boutique hotels of Honolulu. And these are other seating for guests or whoever is in the lobby. These are some of their sitting places. And this happens to be a very interesting sitting place uh, for the guests. As you can see, as you can see, somebody was already sitting there. That's fine. And these are nice flowers. I love this arrangement. And this is their concert desk. Uh, concert uh, is available to help guests with their sightseeing plans and other reservations for entertainment and all that. Uh, right now, I think Mr. or Miss Concert is on his or her break. So the desk at this moment is uh, unmanned but usually somebody is available here to help and you can have car rentals from them too so that's the concert desk and this is their lobby area beautiful arrangement and this are free deluxe continental breakfast in this lobby in the morning 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. <laughs> this is the lobby area. And interestingly, they offer some game set sets here for guests to spend their time. If they are bored, have nothing to do, it is raining outside and stuff like that. Uh, there are board games like Battleship, Ticket to Ride, Scrabble, 
scrabble sets and all that. And in the morning they have coffee available. This is afternoon now, but coffee is still available in a different place. I'll show you. This is where a free continental breakfast is served to the hotel guests in the morning, 7 to 9.30 a.m. in the morning. And coffee and uh, other uh, fruit drinks, like citrus drinks and all that, is available all the time. Uh, let me show you. The, these are some of the other drinks. I do not know. One is lemony, I can see. The other looks like cucumber and something yeah. like that. And free coffee is right here. And in the morning, this place becomes really busy. That's the uh, water uh, cool and purified water station and the microwave ovens and stuff and toaster oven is available in the morning toasters those who like toasts for their breakfast they can make their toasts here and this is the area where continental breakfast is served i have some still pictures taken this morning i'll uh, put the still pictures in in the video, I did not take video in the morning when it was crowded with guests. People were helping themselves, serving themselves and eating. I did not want to disturb anybody, but I took some quick uh, still pictures, which I'm going to insert. And uh, let me just repeat, they say continental breakfast, they, but they do have some hot items there too, like omelets and sausage and stuff like that and their bakery stuff muffins and rolls and other similar things are really good and they have a wide variety of fruits available in the morning here this is a very good deal this is free with the room rent this breakfast And here is their little library for the guests, right in one corner of the lobby, which is also a nice touch, I would say. People can kill time, and those who do not want to go out but need to kill time, they can pick up books from here and read here in the lobby. This is a nice touch. I like it. And this is another angle. I'm shooting from another angle. This is the same lobby. I'm trying to show you the whole lobby. Uh, there are some vending machines there for uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and all that usual stuff. Uh, that red machine right there is the vending machine. And in the distance, that's the concierge desk and this is the whole lobby i have shown you more or less the entire lobby a little bit is left in this side these are also uh, places where one can sit eat talk read play indoor games board games and all that so that's, that's the complete lobby. In the morning breakfast time, that's, this gets crowded because breakfast is included with the room rent and everybody eats here in the morning, 7 to 9.30. Well, of course, the important thing, 
restrooms are right here in one part of the lobby. If you need to go, if you need to answer to nature's call, there's some restrooms, locked restrooms are there. You can open the locked locks with your room key. Nice clean restrooms. And here is a little gift shop. A hotel's gift shop if you need to buy little souvenirs or uh, picture postcards and stuff like that. Uh, a gift shop is available right here in the lobby in a small room. So that's it. And of course these are the elevators. Uh, the rooms are all upstairs. So you take the elevators from here and go to your room. I live in 19th floor. So I'll take my uh, one of the elevators from here right now and go to my room and I'll show you my room. 19th floor is where I live. So that is uh, in the elevator. I'm in the elevator and right inside the elevator in the carpet it says Vive Hotel Waikiki. So I have reached the 19th floor and this is a beautiful flower picture on the wall. Just decoration. Um, nice touch I would say. And these are the different room numbers, whatever is your room number and that's the wall decoration uh, right outside the elevator. I like this flower. Okay, so this is my room, 1907, 19th floor, room number 1907. That's where I am staying. Okay, okay so this is the view you get uh, from the 19th floor. I am standing in a general area in a balcony and uh, see the nice nice view. I really love this view. Let me try to zoom in. So you are looking at Honolulu city, really. I think that is the diamond head. Uh, we are seeing it from the balcony between two tall buildings and that peak right in front of us is, I am pretty sure that is the di diamond head. I did not know that you can see it from the hotel even. It, you cannot see it from my room because my room faces uh, uh, at a different angle. Uh, I cannot see this this mountain or the volcano from my room, but I can see it from this balcony. You see those mountain ranges in the uh, distance behind those tall buildings. And this one, right between these two tall buildings I'm zooming in, that is the diamond head. Now I have moved to a different uh, corner of the back balcony and now you can see the Pacific Ocean right from this balcony. Can you see the waves? That's the ocean. That's where Waikiki Beach is located. Let me try to zoom in. Can you see the waves? The water? That's the ocean. This hotel has a beautiful location and for a very good reasonable price. There are other good hotels right on Waikiki, but their prices are way, way higher. Okay, we are in my room right now, and I'll show you briefly 
the room amenities. Uh, let me begin by saying the rooms are pretty good, uh, the amenities are good, but the size is pretty small. But that's okay. You have to compromise somewhere because the price is very, very reasonable. So as we enter through the door to my room, that's the front window right there. And let me try to show you what I see through my window. In other words, the view I get. That is important for me. And that's the view I get. Let me show you. See those coconut plants and the blue waters of Pacific Ocean? That is the Waikiki Beach and that's what you can see right from the room. And on this side, uh, going past a couple of more tall buildings, there is a narrow opening there and if you zoom in, you can see more water there. And let me go to the other side. Can you see the waves in the water? That is Pacific Ocean. That is Waikiki Beach. And, well, I can't move much, but let me see. That, that is another small opening right there between another two buildings and those blue waters, that's the Pacific Ocean, and that is the Waikiki Beach. Now let me show you briefly my room. I'm running out of my battery, it looks like, so I have to be brief. That's the closet uh, where my clothes are hanging, and down below, underneath those clothes, you see that, uh, what you call safe to keep your valuables. That's a good uh, thing to have in the room. You have your own personal safe. And of course, down below there is a Bible as usual. And these are the bedside tables. That's the bed, very simple bed. And this is a queen size bed. And that's the other side of the bed, bedside table. And there is one new thing that I don't really know how to use. Even my name is written there. That's a tablet. That's a tablet computer they provide. And I don't really know how to use it, but I don't need it. I have my own iPad with me, and I have my own iPhone also, which I use, but they provide the tablet. That's a very good touch. And let me show you. Okay, on this side of the room, towards the uh, bottom of the bed, uh, that gray thing is the in-room refrigerator, small refrigerator, and that is the uh, table where I have my some of my stuff there. That's the long table. And they provide a very good chair, a very ergonomic chair. I like that chair. Okay, under the bed there are two drawers where you can keep your stuff. I have kept some of my clothes there. They don't provide any dresser, so that's that. I kept some of my stuff there. And below the big long table there are more shelves there where I have put some of my clothing like shirts, t-shirts, etc. That's a good storage. That, that's the, that gray thing is the uh, in-room refrigerator. These are the, uh, this is the big table on top of which I of course have my stuff. That's the other end of the table. This is a long table. Okay, here is the ergonomic chair. Uh, we are getting a funny kind of light, so the video may not be very clear, but you can imagine that's the kind of chair that is uh, very common these days. These are expensive chairs, and they are really comfortable. 
and on this side of course uh, that's a little thing what you call to store your bags I have my little suitcase right on that uh, foldable uh, suitcase stand or whatever you call it I am forgetting the name and of course you have your air conditioner Hawaii is a hot place so you have to have air conditioning and they do have air conditioning and it works very very well and lastly this is a quick look at the bathroom this is of course the toilet and above the toilet there are shelves where they give you fresh towels and extra toilet papers and all that so that's the toilet on the left side of the door of the bathroom that is the bathtub the flow of water is really good nice hot water comes all the time no complaint that's the shower that's the tub and lastly this is the sink bathroom sink and that's the bathroom mirror now you can see me in the mirror taking the video I'm tired I'm sweating because I was out all morning this is like 4 30 in the afternoon uh, the first part of the day I spent mostly in Waikiki and their uh, shopping avenue Kalakua Avenue or something I cannot remember the name I cannot pronounce it well but that's their main main shopping uh, thoroughfare where all these uh, famous name stores are situated and Honolulu is a very fancy place they have all the good things here so that's the bathroom that's the bathroom mirror that's me in the mirror that's the sink and that takes care of this video now you have a good idea about this hotel if you want to come and stay here you're most welcome to do so I tried to make sure that you know everything that needs to be known about this hotel thanks for watching until next time this is Shobon Sen, Sen saying goodbye, goodbye from Honolulu